Hey there, if you're struggling with how to use vocal samples for your beats or how to make vocal chops in FL Studio, this tutorial is going to help you figure out all your problems. Let's get started. All right, so right here, I have a loop. I got it from Splice, a vocal loop. All right, I don't want to play with my beats. My beats are currently at 101 BPM and the key for my beats is um, F sharp minor, I think, yeah, F sharp minor. And then um, this sample is at D minor. So let's hear it and see how it sounds. You can see it sounds off key. does not even sound like it's in tempo. So let's fix that. And the first thing we're going to do is how to get to sound good, all right? That is how to make it into our key. And just recently, I posted a tutorial on how to key match your samples in FL Studio. So I'm going to put a link up here. You can watch it later, or you can hit the link in the description below. The video will also be there. You can watch it as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to transpose this into our key, all right? So we're going to move this from D minor to F sharp minor, all right? And so we're going to see how many keys, all right? From D minor to F sharp minor, all right? So this is D, so let's count all the way to F sharp one, two, three, four. So 400 cents. We're going to move 400 cents up. So when I play it now, let's hear it sounds. You can see now it sounds on key, right? So now I'm going to also match into our tempo. I'm going to come right here to time, right click and say, Let's try four bars. I think four bars should be the appropriate timing for this. You can see now it sounds really good. Sounds part of the project. If I take it to anywhere of our project, it's going to sound good. Let's say I take it into our hook, for example, and I play. So you can see it sounds good still. So we're not done yet. Before we start tweaking our sample some more, I'll advise you to consolidate your vocal track now that you've um, tempo matched it and you've also key matched it, right? So just highlight the region for your vocal sample, solo it, all right, then right click, then come right here where it says um, consolidate this track from track starts, all right? And then we're going to hit yes. If you have any effect running through it, you may want to turn on the effect, but without any effect running through it, it's running dry, so click start. So now this is a consolidated track. If you open it, you can see there is no um, pitch shifting or timing sounds part of our project now, but this is the original. You can see the pitch shift and the time. So I'm going to close this. And we're going to be using the consolidated track. So I'm going to just delete this. Um, I don't need this, just um, ungroup it. All right, so let me turn everything back on. So it sounds good as it is. We can use this in our project as it is already. We can still do a few more things. For example, we can even change the pitch, like bring it an octave down, and then take the pitch all the way down. When I take you all the way up to a higher octave. You can use this as a different segment of your beat. And there's this plugin I like using, which is Sound Toys Little Alter Boy. When I'm going to load it right here, so I can actually play with the format, all right, without messing with the pitch. So if I if I want, if I don't want it to be too tiny, just a little bit tiny, and I play it. I don't want it to, or I don't want it to be too deep. I just want a little bass from the vocal. I can do this as well, bring the performance down. So it depends on the, the texture or the tone you want, you can use this plugin to adjust it. But I think I preferred this texture when it was right here. All right, so now that we're done playing with the pitch, we can create a copy as well, and then we can make vocal chops using Slice X, all right? So let's make this unique. 
but it doesn't matter but let's just make it unique all right just make it unique then right here let's click this and then open in new slice x channel and slice is going to come up with an interface like this so i can take this off turn this off let me bring up slice x again make sure i clear out um the loaded region all right so now i have slice x and if i trigger my midi i can hear my vocal chops So let's play with this and see how it sounds on our beats. So I can use this maybe in some parts of my verse, for example, maybe in my pre-chorus, for example, I can try something like this. So let me just record that in. So when I quantize it, So let's go with that, all right? I think I prefer that first half. And I can just duplicate it. And then when I render it, I can also um, consolidate this region, all right? Just select the region, right click, consolidate this track so that I can manipulate the audio file some more, all right? That's why this is important. So I can add, I can play with the pitch. So I can do a couple of things with it. I can even maybe reverse it if I want to. All right, but let's leave as this and add a couple of effects that we can use to spice up our vocal chop even more. We can add a reverb, all right? Let's even come back to our original sample right here. So let's link it to the mixer, all right? We can use the radio presets. And then we can add some reverb, increase the wetness, reduce the dry signal a bit, increase the size so that it sounds more like an ambient vocal. And then we can also do the same thing for our vocal chop right here. We can link it to the same um, mixer channel and then see how it sounds. There are so many effects you can keep adding, distortion, phasing, so many more, harmonizer plugins, so many more you can keep adding. But these are just my go-to um, choices I like to use. So let's see how this sounds in the hook. found this helpful don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that need helpful videos like this can easily find me on youtube all right that's another way you can support me and also hit the subscribe button down below so you can be up to date with more of my tutorial as i try to release as much helpful content as i possibly can see you soon i remain sir classy cheers